What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Tactical Accountants. Uh, if the audio quality in this video is not the best, it is because I'm recording it with my cell phone. Plus, there's a fair amount of background noise, so I apologize for that. In any case, going to do something a little bit different. Um, just a quick and dirty video. I've been playing around with the 6-hour Kilo 3000 BDX uh, binoculars slash rangefinder I picked up recently from Cabela's. Uh, I've been trying to laze things at long distances, see what they can actually do. On the SIG website, I just checked to make sure they are rated at ranging a deer at 2,000 yards, a tree at 4,000 yards, and a max reflective target at 5,000 yards. So today I'm going to be testing that in what you might call a target-rich environment, being downtown Chicago. Uh, that's where I find myself today. Just happen to have the binoculars with me, so this is a fortuitous uh, use of some time to kill. I wouldn't say Chicago is my kind of town, but in terms of stuff like this, it definitely has its perks. So what I'm going to show today on camera, I'm going to zoom in on it. Plenty of buildings to laze here. Uh, I've been able to pretty consistently get readings out to, I would say, 2,500 yards. Not quite as far as SIG rates things, but then if you look all the way down there, um, we have the Sears Tower, I'm sorry, Willis Tower, Sears Tower uh, for some people forever. On the left of the screen, all the way in the middle, straight shot, you have that building peeking between all the other buildings pretty much as far as you can look. I'm gonna splice that in just cause it's hard to hold the binoculars in one hand, the camera in the other, and I didn't want to talk on top of that. So here goes. So yeah, 3,600 yards to that building in the middle. Uh, not too shabby, I would say. Out here today, the glass is plenty clear. Um, I can read things pretty far away. I don't see any obvious downsides to the glass. There is a noticeable change in tint if you look one-eyed through the left lens and the right lens. And I think that's just because of the rangefinder and the right lens. Uh, to me, it completely disappears with both eyes open. I almost forgot to show off probably the biggest selling point of these binoculars. And that is that uh, if you link them to your smartphone with the SIG BDX app uh, via Bluetooth, uh, you can also link them to some models of Kestrel, I believe, to get wind involved. In any case, if you do that, put in your bullet profile, so your ballistic coefficient, velocity, uh, all that good stuff, and then lays something out to 800 yards so 800 yards is the maximum to get this feature uh, in real time the app will calculate your drop in either moa or mills uh, to the target and then like i said if you have a kestrel involved and it's getting a good wind reading then it will also calculate your windage in moa or mills and it'll display that not only in your phone but uh, actually through the rangefinder so i'm going to display that with that building right out there, the uh, red one in the middle. So you can see there, uh, that building is 790 yards away and it is showing that I would have to hold 5.1 uh, mils. So it's set up right now, if I'm not mistaken, for a 6.5 Creedmoor 130 grain burger bullet going uh, 29, 25 feet per second. That's what I shoot in PRS, at least I did before all the ammo ran out. Pretty cool feature, again, limited to 800 yards. Uh, in my experience, they are pretty quick lazing out to, I would say, 1,500 yards on big objects like these. I'm going to try to display that in real time, show how fast it actually gets readings.
1550, 613, 908. Uh, what can I say? I'm impressed. Glass is great for me, for my purposes. Uh, range is very quick. The app, as I displayed, is super impressive. And yeah, way out there, 3,600 yards. Uh, if you guys like this kind of content, please let us know in the comments. We've shied away a bit from any kind of gear reviews, more just gratuitous shooting footage, I would say. But uh, based on the Vortex comparison video and a few others, it seems like gear reviews are appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys. More content coming soon. Uh, we'll see you next time.